Hey guys, welcome to the Geek's Handbag, I hope you're well. Here's the Geek's Handbag and today I'm going to be looking at these. The Doc 2 Titan figures. Uh, basically when you buy one you get a blind box like this so you don't know which figure's inside and when you open it you get a really cool and highly detailed little figure like this chap here, little fourth doctor. Um, it's highly addictive I have to say because you keep buying them to try and get the whole set. Uh, so I thought I'd go through and show you the ones that I've managed to collect so far. So let's start with the Temp Doctor series and in his boxes you could get the Daleks there, Sontaran, Clockwork Robot which I really like and also there's some variants on the Doctor and a Weeping Angel. So I managed to get, well I've got the Doctor in his brown suit there and the Doctor's TARDIS which are both very nice. Um, I really wanted to try and find the Doctor in his blue suit because I like the blue suit variant but alas no. Clockwork Droid, one of my favourites in the set. Um, I just love the detailing on him. I think he looks really good. And I did manage to find a variant for this one, which again looks really nice. Uh, there is a third variant I've seen, but um, unfortunately I didn't manage to find that one. But yeah, those two are really nice. Sontaran, doesn't he look grumpy? I'm going to say this is Strax, because it just looks cool. A nice figure. This one from the Silence in the Library looks pretty creepy and goes rather well with the Weeping Angel figure there, both good. And some Daleks, yes, I managed to get two gold and one black, and one of the gold is a variant, because he's got that nice claw thing going on. And of course, you can see lurking in the background, their leader, or pet, whichever you prefer, Davros. And here he is, he's a good figure. I like this Davros one, although his teeth are very yellow. I'm have to take him to the dentist. He's quite easy to find because he's so heavy that if you lift the box up, there's a very good chance that it's him uh, or a Dalek. Yeah, a nice one to get. So going back to the box for a second, um, the Adipose was one of the figures I never managed to find. Uh, I would have thought it would have been easy because he's so light, but so is the Santaran, and I managed to get a couple of him. And also, I never managed to get the Cyber Leader. I guess he was just too brainy. So, moving on to the 11th Doctor, and in his set you could get these figures, including the Jadoon, Silurian and the Ood. Moving around, we can see that you could also get a variety of different coloured Daleks. Now, I managed to get three of these, uh, the red, blue and white one. Um, I would have liked a yellow one, really, because yellow is my favourite colour, but yeah, they make a good... Dalek army. Uh, the Silurian, um, I really like this figure, uh, I just like its grumpy little face. Uh, the Cyberman, well I kept getting this figure, he's not very hard to find, but yeah he looks good. The Silence figure, again a nice one, I kind of forgotten I'd seen him. The Jadoon figure, I really like this one, uh, I like his big chunky neck brace and his little red gun, I think he looks really good. The Ood, Again, looks really good. There's a good variant of him, but uh, I never managed to find it. Uh, but yeah, nice figure. And the Doctor, and I did manage to get a variant of this one with a nice blue shirt. Um, I think I prefer the one with the blue shirt, actually. It just looks nicer. And I was glad I also managed to find the 11th Doctor's TARDIS. And here we have possibly my favourite series Titan I've done so far. All the Doctors together in one set. So right from the first to the classic Doctors, right through to the new Doctors, and you've got William Hartnell there, a really nice figure with this walking stick. I love this figure of the second Doctor, I think he's really nicely detailed and he's got his flute there. As I do this one of the third Doctor, and I can see a bit of Peter Capaldi in there, and he comes with his Sonic, which is a nice little added touch. The fourth Doctor with his big long scarf, again nicely detailed. No Sonic with this Doctor though, which is a bit strange, maybe that's because he's got such a big hat. The fifth Doctor, he's got his bit of celery on his jacket there. The very colourful sixth Doctor, and that's a nice figure. And a slightly pale but brilliant seventh Doctor. And as you can see, he comes with his question mark umbrella. We got a very wide-eyed eighth Doctor. And then onto the new Doctors. And I'm colourblind, so I didn't initially realise I'd got a variant. But yeah, two variants of the ninth Doctor. And also a variant of the 10th Doctor. I managed to find him in his blue suit and his brown suit. So yes, very nice. So I did quite well finding all the Doctors, apart from the 11th Doctor with his bow tie, which I never managed to find. I did, however, open a box one day to get this fellow, the 11th Doctor without his jacket. And I have to say, I absolutely love this figure. 
So, talking of variants and exclusives, here's a couple of 10th Doctor ones, starting with Tuxedo Doctor. And doesn't he look smart there in his jacket and tie? Brilliant. And here's the Regeneration 10th Doctor, wearing the 9th Doctor's jacket. And from Human Nature and Family of Blood, here's the Doctor in his suit with pocket watch. And I really like this one. So yeah, three very nice variants. So, let's bring out the big guys, because as well as the blind boxes, you can also get these 6.5 inch figures of the 9th Doctor, 10th Doctor, TARDIS and of course the 11th Doctor and this, the 8 inch Statue of Liberty Weeping Angel. So here they are, freed from their boxes and they really do look great. The detailing on them is brilliant and they all come with their own little Sonics as you can see there. We've got the TARDIS which the BBC actually used a lot to promote the Doctor Who World Tour so there it is and that looks good. And even if you didn't like the idea of the Statue of Liberty turning out to be a weeping angel, I have to say, this figure is nothing short of brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed looking through these figures with me. Titan are just about to release a whole new batch of new figures and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on them. I'll put a few pictures at the end just to show you what's on its way, including the Beast figure and the War Doctor figure, which I've already pre-ordered, and they look fantastic. Anyway, please check out thegeekshandbag.com for more news and videos by me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and do say hello on Twitter. Until the next time, guys, you take care. Bye-bye.